yes, sir. I say yes, sir. People, bring it in, everybody. I, now I'm I'm sitting up here and I keep saying I'm pitching a no hitter quitter. I told y'all we at the way it was trending in the last video, and now this was at seventy two thousand, seventy three thousand breakout. That we probably see eighty thousand for the weekend end, guys. Oh Lord, hey got listen. Let's get down to it. Y'all already know. Y'all are here with your host, your favorite, the chocolate of Confucius, Mister Ninety Nine Mile an Hour Fastball, Mister I Don't Miss, Mister Chat, please, Mister Naysayer. Uh, oh, that's right, that's right. It's Money Montgomery, guys. Listen, what a marvelous day. Your money is up. Our money is up. But again. Past all that, everything that we talked about has been a lot in alignment. Guys, 2024, I bet it's been one person saying this from the beginning of the year, calling it, putting price targets, putting X, X, Y, Z. And mine has been lining up. 2024 is your year. 2025, you get rich right now. Guys, Bitcoin is sitting at $80,855 currently as we speak and continuing to climb. I had to get this video out, one, to have this documented and noted as history is snatching, y'all. The DJT effect. Look at that thing go. About to bust through 81,000 now, guys. I've sat back and I'm looking. Confirmed, I told y'all last time in two videos ago. This is confirmation. The crypt. This is the official kickoff of the crypto bull rally. Not only just the crypto bull rally, the crypto super cycle. Y'all, there was a bull rally pent up in the other bull rally that didn't get to finish out. The volume. There was unsurety with the president elect moving in. There's clarity back into the markets. If you don't got your oh, look, if you don't got your money, one in, in, invested in the crypto market right now, you're losing. If you don't have your money in XRP, not financial advice, you're losing. Now, listen, let's tap down straight into information. XRP, that pretty little thing sitting up at 61 cents, obviously up 22%. And this is why I tell people, don't be fudded. Just buy the damn coin. Not financial advice again. But because you can't time this, the money, it's violent moves that are coming in. Violent moves. We go to sleep, we wake up, it's up 10%. You're like, oh. Okay, nobody had expectation. You went to sleep, Bitcoin is 74,000, uh, uh, 75,000. Now it's 80,000 early in the morning. Oh, Lord. This is why you have to pack your bags early. And now we just sitting back with our seatbelts folded. Solana at 214. I had to get this document so we can look back in five years and be like, I can't believe that I was in there. And boy, did I hold it down. V12 type of thing. Ethereum at 3,239 currently. Let's tap down in our information, obviously. Just rolling on through some good little information. But I just want the one keynote what expectation is. Again, with this flow with Bitcoin, one, y'all are watching this breakout occur. But there's going to be a point to where, again, people are getting priced out of market. That money that, for those that can't afford Bitcoin, which, again, is going to be the masses, flows into the altcoin. Sitting right there is a pretty little thing called XRP. Watch how this comes in then while the FOMO's building, everybody's running in the market. Ah! That stable coin is going to drop here soon, guys. That stable coin is coming in. That is I'm going to market again, I'm calling it. People, hey, put the money back in the chat if you heard what I'm telling you. I have not missed that. R, that are you, Steve? You're forgetting about the stable coin. See, everybody's already getting excited with the, with the kickoff of the market. You got a stable coin that's going to kick into this. And then again, there's, the doors have been opened with the new president on where this crypto thing is going. Buckle up! Buckle up! This is what I had to put us up here. Buckle up! If you're fading this market, you're ruining your life. If you don't buy XRP now, you will regret it forever. The American super cycle. The American super cycle. This is not going to be just like any other cycle. There's black swan events, a little DJT effect, stable coin, clearing out of the lawsuits that uh, 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 Ripple's been in, legal clarity, adoption. This is a black swan event. This, guys, buckle your pants. That's all I'm telling you. Boom, a cryptocurrency whale recently purchased 
what is that? 628,000 XRP. Here we go with them sliding in big money. That's institution. That's not just retail. Because again, that stable coin is about to go live. People get I, I, people get lost in it. We're going ISO 222 and what now? What? Two months? What did they say it was? Was it January, February? Or? Japan's going fully XRP, what, in two months? Guys, if you missed this one right here, listen, no, no, no. I want you to miss it. I know. I really want you to miss it. Us? I want you to miss it. You, maybe you're just not a V12 type of guy. Maybe, maybe you just truly hate thoughts. I, I guess that because at this point, hey, if you ain't, I told you, like I said, if you don't get it now, you never will. This is the time. Pro projected to reach three trillion, and this is from our beloved company Ripple. Uh, projected to reach three trillion in the next five years. Stable coins are driving a new era of digital finance. The UAE's four thinking regulations for Durham backed and global stable coins uh, solidify its role as a leader in the digital economy. And just to put that back on your top piece, because we get so absorbed in our little world, and okay, I get it. You know, it's a lot going on. But that's for a reason. We're shifting, guys. The great generational wealth chance is happening. They got to keep the masses distracted. Luckily, and this is why, I, hey, all 1,700 of us, I know that some people have their brains a little bit pulled out from just the day-to-day, -day, where you can at least know what's going on. This is why you're going to have V12. But understand, three trillions of dollars, a uh, uh, three trillion in, in movement is coming in. The UAE is rolling. All the, they were on five of the seven continents. And I'm damn sure I, all five of them in one shape or form have said, hey, we're on XRP. Japan just came straight out. All the banks XRP. We're going ours. We're, well, we're calling this ISO 222 SWIFT, right? So keep the SWIFT system alive. But they're going to be on the blockchain. And of course, they're backing the RLUSD one-to-one, -one, which is through XRP. They don't want to just call it XRP. Hey, you're using the stable coin provided from XRP. America's going XRP in 2025. They could just come out and say that, but they don't want you to jump in. So they're going to just ISO 222. Oh, yeah. And here's the list of the coins we'll be using. Of course, XRP on there. You're going to be primarily using XRP. This is set in stone. But keep on coming through. I just want to kind of get a quick little read through this. Obviously, I don't want to try to make this video too long. Um, stable coin issuance and use. Uh, is rising around the world with the market projected to reach three trillion within the next five years. Key to this continued growth are crypto regulations that will help advance the use of stable coins and usher a new era of uh, financial innovation. Governments are recognizing the opportunity and working hard to launch frameworks that provide further clarity. New regulations from the central bank, uh, excuse me, central bank of the United Arabs, CBUAE, is uh, designed to integrate Durham back stable coins and, and as well as a non aed back stable coin into its financial systems again bunch of uh, uh, um fancy way of saying they're 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 bringing on stable coins that are backed right so they're backing them whatever like i told you at some point every place is going to have its different use of backing they're probably going to back this in gold back it in oil ours is backed in treasury and in gold technically which is again restoring the value to a dollar. But guys, that's three trillion dollars of market cap coming into stable coins in the next. What did they say? Five years? What did I keep saying that they the guy literally told us? Hey, in the next five years, the XRP will be need to be around ten thousand dollars minimum to work properly. Guys, hey, all right, all right, I get it. You you you're much smarter than me, buddy, old pal. I swear I know it. I'm over here just listening to the guys that made Bitcoin that's currently at what? 80,797. I'm just going to now I'm not I don't I'm not I don't have to be the sharpest tool in the shed. But I think I'm going to um, I'm going to follow them this time. I think I'm going to follow them this time around, I think. I think I'm going to do that. Uh they not only help uh, cement the UAE's position as a global leader in the digital asset space, but also reflect a broader trend of progressive crypto regulation in the country by embracing stable coins, the UAE laying groundwork for safer, more efficient financial systems. And again, 
What a beautiful thing because holding the coin, understand that all these massive places that are accepting XRP, if you're talking about oh, getting citizenship in places, hey, I can come over and I can buy. I can buy land right now. Where is what, what I need to get that be a, 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 also a dual citizen in UAE? Now, of course, I love my country. I'm going to be I'm going to Dubai this a stunt. But also, I'm going to know as far as they're setting up to be, and hopefully America can, up under our new elect, can kind of regain that sh that position of being the hub of crypto, like we were the hub of money or the dollar, right? But UAE is setting up to be the place where it's like you go over there to talk crypto investments and et cetera, et cetera. This is why everybody's been like, hey, we got to get this guy up out of here because y'all are stalling the progress. Crypto's not going anywhere. All that was going was self-sabotage to the American position in crypto. Because here we are, everything's played out the same way it was going to happen. UAE stablecoin regulation. UAE has made, uh, made no secret of its ambition to be a global hub for well-regulated blockchain activities. It is already one of the most advanced jurisdictions when it comes to offering clear regulations for digital asset services with the Bias Virtual Asset Regulatory Authority, VARA. The Ab, what is it? Abu, da, uh, oh, Abu Dhabi. Wait, Abu Dhabi Global Market and the DF, uh, DIFC all are contributing to a robust regulatory ecosystem. Again, just basically explaining out how they are it's all reg it, it, this isn't we aren't talking mumble jumble here now guys these systems have been under test for a year they've been telling you that they're coming out and basically saying hey this bitch is prime and ready to roll she she's ready to go now she's 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 ready to rock and roll that's what this is all coming out they're basically reading down a list of this and i want to i would read further but obviously it's a long thing i want to get a little bit deeper into something that i think was interesting because your ceo was back on live we're going to tie this in here but i want to come back into this right here but again just a quick read over the fact of the fact you know uae is setting up for stable coins it's three trillion dollars of money about to kick off oh wow there's one stable coin with legal clarity that's also pinned to a dollar because again, USD Tether is about to be under investigation at this perfect time frame, right? Crypto super cycle, Bitcoin at 80,852. We're about to see probably about 80, 81,000 probably before this video ends. But let's see here. Breaking, CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, is on the news again with it. Let's see what she's talking about. They use. And one of the biggest winners from Donald Trump's re-election to the White House has been the crypto world. Bitcoin, for example, hit record highs this week by passing uh, that $76,000 mark for the first time. Another token seeing big gains over the past few days is XRP, which has been developed by the digital payment network Ripple. It's currently valued at around $11 billion and is trying to go mainstream by launching its own ETF. However, it's... I told you. When they getting it public, it's too late. Then I tell you guys, listen, everybody, hopefully you buckled up in here. Hopefully you buckled up in here. Have, have you, has everybody, hey, put the money back in the chat if you made it this far. I know she's going to be a longer video right off top. But again, guys, what a, can, can I borrow about 30 minutes of time to talk to you about your money? Currently That's all I'm telling you, the money up. Standing case with the Securities and Exchange Commission, which is blocking the launch. For more on all this, we're now joined by the CEO of Ripple, Brad Gerlinghouse. So welcome, Brad. Let's start with that tweet. Woo! 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 Including firing SEC Chair Greg Gary Gensler. What are the main things that you want him to address? Well, as you probably know, Donald Trump has uh, been kind of a I said crypto you. advocate and a the, the crypto president by his self-proclamation around that for a number of months during the campaign. And he has actually said that one of the first things he would do in office is to do everything he can do to remove Gary Gensler, who has really waged a war against crypto in the United States. Oh, the irony, of course, is of many countries around the world, even the UK, Switzerland, Singapore have really leaned into crypto, created clear rules, which has allowed entrepreneurs and capital to flow in and allow the, the industry to grow and thrive. But 
While Trump is seen as favorable for crypto leaders and investors, uh, does his recent alignment with crypto actually pose some ethical concerns? I mean, he's launched the cryptocurrency project World Liberty Financial. Is this a potential conflict of interest now that he has a stake in the industry, Brad? You know, I think obviously Donald Trump has stakes in lots of industries, mm -hmm. and I think the voters decided that, that they, they preferred Donald Trump as opposed to other candidates throughout mm -hmm. the process. So I, I don't really take a position on that. I think there's obviously a lot of disclosure. Let that man live. Uh, as his second trip to the White House, I'm sure uh, there's plenty of people around him that are experienced with that. I do think regardless of his own participation in different parts of the economy, we've got to get the United States growing in as it relates to this industry and the Biden administration really not just the United States SEC but other parts of the government as well have been pretty hostile towards crypto despite its growth despite that it's over a two trillion dollar market today and with a Donald Trump win are you expecting a resolution in this ripple versus SEC lawsuit <laughs> I mean this was surrounding whether XRP is considered a security or a digital currency and what do you think a resolution would mean for the broader uh, crypto Talk to us. Look, as you probably know, we, we've been fighting with the SEC for three and a half years. We won that case last summer. The SEC, the, the judge in that case declared very... There you strong. go. Listen to breakdowns just so everybody, because there's a bunch of fun. Oh, their they're, they're appeal is that they're going to appeal that, that, that it's not a secure... I was like, they're not even talking about that. They can fund retail so easily. XRP in and of itself is not a security. Listen to your CEO. The SEC is appealing part of that decision, but importantly, Thank they're you. not appealing the part of the decision that says XRP is not a security. Exactly. So we feel very good about that. The law of the land of the United States is that XRP is not a security. What's frustrating, I think, for the whole industry is that only Bitcoin and XRP really have the explicit regulatory clarity in the United States. Other leading... Yeah, Bitcoin and XRP... It's ironic there. Cryptocurrencies like ETH and Solana have been a little bit in a fuzzy land. It's really kind of maddening, and I think madness, to think we're going to litigate every single token one by one. We've been ch challenging the government, challenging the SEC to create clear rules of the road, as you've seen in the UK, as you've seen in Japan, where they've created taxonomies so that the regulation is clear. And people in the, United, people in the US crypto industry... Want Y'all, we, we are talking about investing in the internet on day one we talking about investing on cell phones we talking about you bought apple at 50 cents that's what we talking about right now we talking about internet explorer at 50 cents but bigger that's what we talking about right now to follow the rules we just have to be, have clarity about what the rules are and Brad, talk to us more about clarity that you need in regulation what more in particular would you like to see well, i think the key thing is the sec under gary gensler has tried to take the position that most cryptocurrencies are securities securities as i think many people know the, the law it's about you know rights and title and ownership of a company if you own a security in apple uh you own part of the company you have governance rights mm -hmm. you can vote on the board of directors that obviously doesn't exist. If you own XRP, if you own ETH, if you own different cryptocurrencies, you're not getting the rights and title and interest of a, of a security. Mm -hmm. So uh, the key really is creating that clarity that the SEC is not the regulator that's trying to kind of own this industry. And they've really been trying to do regulation through enforcement mm -hmm. rather than codifying and taking the time to write clear rules of the road. I don't know, but it's just BT. All right, well, thank you so much yeah, for joining us there, Brad Gellinghouse, the Ripple CEO. There, Thanks for having me. There, there we go. There we go. It, 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 it's all over the news now. Somebody v 12 me. I'm just trying to tell you. And I, hey, we're just closing out with this because I want to just bring it full circle. Even on the scale of in school, Ripple, again, now, don't forget they have this whole thing where they are basically funding colleges and uh, universities that have students in you know program to go into this tech industry talking crypto and they're starting projects understand all these projects that these people are creating are on the xrp ledger so they're going and finding the the, the most brilliant minds in these co in colleges and they're like hey play around with crypto use the ledger now at first you can like okay that's great what you're not realizing ripple's going to be handpicking for the 
for the gen generation to come the top minds and bring them in the ripple to expand on xrp ledger you can have different developments it can be different things to fix different things in the system all running on the ledger and that's why i say the price ten thousand coin ten thousand coin and it's here for me it, it all makes sense just again ripple university blockchain research initiative ubri is transforming academia with 1200 plus research projects 850 courses 900 on campus events and 90 xrpl projects they got these students in here creating they going in hands-on creating in there on the ledger which is creating more volume in certain coins that are catching off and things that are working projects to solve things young masterminds the amazing thing about Uber Bad is use. that it came out Bad of a use. memo me from a Ripple engineer who went to leadership and said, we are getting all these requests from universities, professors to lecture in their classrooms, to speak at their blockchain I'm conferences it, and but... even collaborate on research. What if we had a formalized program about this? Yeah. Uber is a program money. that empowers universities to research, study, and look more deeply at blockchain, cryptocurrency, and fintech. This is a transformational technology. Yeah. We need people who can work in this industry. We need them to be trained. We need them to be exposed and get excited about the potential. Academics need to collaborate with the industry, with practitioners. Bring them on and in. is enabling this kind of development. Bring my money up, young ones. Ubery launched with an initial 18 partners. We have now since grown to 57 universities. There we go. You see that? See that? They putting that XRP, just touching everything. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. This is a 13-legged octopus, this investment. You can't beat this. I mean, there's no better move right now. Nobody has brought me a play they can say is a better move right now. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now, we don't need to finish out the whole clip. We were just getting down to it. I'm about to get this chopped up, edited out. I got to go out now and take a beverage shot, too. My money up, dog. Come on, dog. My money's up. Bitcoin, 80,676 XRP at 61 cents. Guys, listen. Hey, we're going up. This week, is everything should still continue to progress again. More money should just start to spill off. As Bitcoin starts to get to a spot, you got to understand, Healthy movement. There's going to be a spot where it peaks and it dips a little bit, then it continues its run. At those points, that's when the money starts flooding the altcoins. So again, our kickoff. This is Bitcoin breaking out. Everybody else starting to open up, but XRP's got again RUSD stablecoin, and then there's still an influx yet of money coming in that's going to you know hit these Ethereum XRP again. There's only three names, guys. Realistically, then of course you got your Solanas and you got your Turbos, where's we mean, but you're talking about utilities? They ain't nowhere to go but them three, four. That's why they're sitting up here. But then let's say, y'all, hold it down. Let me get this head up for this end of 50 minutes. Hey, much love to y'all. We up. We up. We up. You hear me? That's all I'm saying to you. I don't know what time it is. Oh, yeah!